Hi everyone, so I'm going to do a quick review on this Ambiano Belgian Waffle Maker from Aldi. And um, I can't remember exactly the price. I think this was $20. And as you can tell, it's got a light that says ready and power. And then you have your dial to adjust the, um, the temperature. Uh, I have this one set to a little bit above the middle. There's an arrow that's really hard to see. But on the instructions, it says um, as you do the waffles, you need to brush it with butter on the, the irons. Irons. <laughs> but I have my melted butter here and a, um, a silicone, what is this called, brush. And I just go and I brush the butter on. You just brush it all over so you have a non-stick surface, which it's already non-stick. Why on earth would you be putting butter on it? But one time I was out of butter and I used oil, like vegetable oil, and it made the waffle mix cook to the irons. And I would I would not recommend doing it that way. But we're just gonna go ahead and brush on the butter. Okay, so my battery is died while I was putting the butter on, but I'm going to go ahead and get my waffle mix on here, and I just use Aunt Jemima waffle mix. It's the best to me for waffles. Um, I may sometime venture out and try to uh, make some homemade waffle mix, but for now, I'm just going to stick with the Aunt Jemima. And I'm going to use my ladle. So you just ladle on your mix. And I'm gonna need more than that for sure. Let's put on a little bit more. And now we're going to close it shut. Okay, close it and once I see steam coming out of it that's when I know it's about ready so um, we're gonna let it cook some and then I'll be right back okay so it's starting to steam really well so I'm going to just open this up and check and as you can tell it's not quite done yet so I'm gonna close it back and then we'll come back again and check it and it should be done. So I'll be right back. Okay, so um, there's some waffles that I've already made with this maker. And I want to show you how it looks when it's done. You can see it's a nice golden brown and it did not stick. Okay, and I'm going to use some tongs to get this off. Now I'm going to be very careful because these tongs are metal and metal can ruin nonstick. I don't want to ruin my waffle maker. As you can tell, it comes in four sections when you get it off. Ooh, the lens. Okay, it's in. <laughs> I got some steam on the lens, but uh oh. but there is my stack of waffles. Um, okay, so I'm gonna give you my overall thoughts on this. Um, I think it's a pretty good value for the money. There are a couple flaws with it that I don't like. Um, the first thing is that the plates do not remove to wash them, and that's very, very annoying. Um, sometimes the nonstick doesn't work, and it will just cook to the center, and that's another problem, and that's about the only problems that I can find with it. Um, I do think eventually I will upgrade to one that has removable um, plates because you cannot submerge this in water. It will short it out. But that's about it. Um, if you're looking for an affordable waffle iron, a Belgian waffle iron, then I highly recommend it. Thank you all for watching and now I'm going to go eat my waffles.